Welcome back to the channel. Today is day 123 of this 300 days fitness challenge. Today's exercise is right on the screen along with our daily checklist and a list of the items we're gonna use until the end of this challenge. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and pound the like button. Let's get to it. All right, let's take our first break. Wow. First set, felt it, felt really good. Oh, I still need to get adjusted to <laughs> this bar digging on my neck and my back. Other than that, the exercise wasn't too bad. I feel like my back and my and my legs are stronger today than they were last year. Even the yeah, last year, stronger than last year, stronger than the beginning of this year, and definitely stronger than years ago when I used to exercise. <laughs> that was pretty good to be the first set. Um, if you notice, I did put the 45s on. I had to dust them off first <laughs> before I put them on here. Uh, but other than that, they felt pretty good on 45s. Um, as I was squatting, actually right before I started squatting, I was wondering why people use squat rack when this is pretty good, this does the job. And it does, it does the job, gets the job done and holds the weight. But if I'm gonna double the weight, uh, I might need a squat rack because <laughs> as you can tell I'm just doing here cap raises and this is pretty wobbly as it is <laughs> but as, as of right now it, it gets the job done I can't really complain about this it, it served me well all right just a few more seconds to go here I am doing some calf raises I worked last night, third shift. It was cold and windy. Felt like it was 10 degrees outside. My hands and my, my toes were frozen. All I wanted to do was the time to speed up. So I could get out of there. Ended up working nine hours in the cold. It was, it was a little rough, but I'm glad I'm back home and now doing legs. Time is up. Here we go again. More squats.
Whew. All right. <sighs> Time for our second break. <sighs> I'm definitely getting stronger. <sighs> uh, now, that doesn't mean that next time I do legs, I'm gonna increase the weight. Next week, when I get to work on my legs, I'm gonna do the exact same weight for the squats. And then, <laughs> maybe next week, the following week, is when I'll increase some weight. I don't know yet. I guess we'll find out. Now, I would like to have a squat rack. <laughs> squat rack that I could use to do squats. I could bench press, do pull-ups, chin-ups, and maybe hook some attachments with pulleys and whatnot. Which, by the way, that arrived what I've been waiting for arrived today, well, yesterday. Arrived yesterday, and it is right here. Probably have some dog hair on it. <laughs> Whew. But yeah, I forgot what it's rated for. I think it's 300 pounds, 250. I don't remember. That not def definitely not gonna use more than 150 pounds on this Maybe not even more than a hundred Who knows <laughs> But yeah, let me give you a little visual here so the plates pretty much will go in here They will be held by it. I just have to hook the cable in here and as I work out pull the pulley who go up and down, you know, lift, lift things up and put them down. That's what we all do anyway. <laughs> lift things up and put them down. But yeah, so, oops. <laughs> so next time, uh, yeah, next time I get, I get to do triceps, I will probably be using that, actually. After today's exercise, I'll be measuring the cable and making some cuts and whatnot. Anyway, time is up. For some reason I'm kind of out of air. Here we go. All right, let's take our third break. I don't know why I'm out of air. It's not like I'm doing any type of cardio. My heart rate is 
a little above <laughs> normal <laughs> or average for me. So we're gonna do one more set of this. And just like last time, we'll bring the bench. We'll do the extensions first. And then the curls for the hammy. Let's see. Yep, volume is up. So you guys can definitely hear me this time. I'm still ticking. Kind of looks like I'm trying to make excuses to not do my <laughs> calf races. It's just. Oh, gotta have the transmitter inside my waistband. So sometimes I press the buttons with the extra flab I have back there. All right, barely over a minute to go. And then we'll go to the extensions, which by the way, we are starting with 70, 95 pounds on the extensions. Is that what we did last week? I think so. 95, so it's gonna be the 235ers and one of the 25 pounders. Ah. All right, just a few more seconds. We're gonna do our last set of squats which it felt good. Um, I can't really go to failure. I don't have, well, I do have the safety stops for the squats that will go here on both sides, but I don't want to push myself that, that far. I have lower back pains and knee injuries and all kinds of stuff that I don't want to revive anytime soon or at all. All right, time is up. Here we go. another break and while the time is ticking let's bring the bench over here Whew. maybe I'll take a sit <laughs> all right closer this way and load this baby up not wasting too much time I know we have time to rest and it should be resting time it's definitely not slacking time all right this 25er right on it 
that makes it 95 pounds there. Well, I still have some time. I'll remove some of these clamps and start organizing as I go, because we are done with the barbell. Okay. Oh, 45 pounder. And then the other 45 pounder. I'll use another brake to take the bar off. In the meantime, let me take a seat and rest a little bit. Let's lower this camera just a bit. Yeah, you probably didn't like that. I didn't like the fact that I didn't do many cab races. Let's bring the water a little closer. Whew. So I woke up today and had a decent sized meal <laughs> this afternoon after I woke up from work or woke up from sleeping after work, after working third shift last night. And chances are right now that I'm not going to work third shift. And I will definitely not work first shift. Because <laughs> after 10 p.m. tonight, I am all for the next 48 hours. All right, time is up. And here we go. Let's take a break. Oh. Rep wise, it looked like I could add some more weight to reduce the amount of reps. But looking at the bar, I mean, looking at this, doesn't look like I can do much about it. Maybe I could replace this 25 for another 35er, but I don't have another 35. Um, and if I put a, actually I can. Uh, I can probably put a 45er in here. The two 45ers, that'll make it 90. And then I'll start adding uh, 10 pounders on it, maybe 25 pounders. But I guess that's gonna be for next week. Uh, so for right now, yeah, so for right now, I think I'm gonna leave it as it is. Um, I should probably be pushing myself a little bit. Let's go for it, let's see. Uh, <laughs> that looks kind of scary, that plate hanging in there. Okay, let's use this baby clamp. That's nothing to do with babies. It's just that it's a small one. Uh, it doesn't go all the way up because of the tape that I have on it. All right. So, uh, 
here. Let's get all this stuff off. Get that 10 pounder off. Get this 25 pounder off. Get this 35. 35 off. Put this 45 on. And uh, this other 45 on. Stop the timer. It's gonna scream at me in a minute. So all that weight there makes it 90 pounds. And uh, let's go wild. Put a 25er. So we went from 95 pounds to 115. Let's see how it goes. Wish me luck. Here we go. Another break. Good. Look at that. <laughs> Just added 15 more pounds, and it felt good. Like the first rep felt kind of funny, but then after that, I was just fine. Who knew I could do that much weight? Because <laughs> it is it's a lot of weight. It's a hundred and 15 pounds right now so if i get to add another one of the 35 verse on which that would be the only thing i could add to it taking this 25 and put the put in 35 that'll be 125 pounds interesting Does that mean I'm gonna, <laughs> does that mean I'm going to overpower this extension thing? Oh man, it's possible. I didn't think I was gonna be this, I was gonna be able to use that much weight on it. Now on the curls, I'm definitely not gonna push myself so hard. Uh, but yeah, 115, I could probably do 125. I'm gonna try. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try it. <sighs> Let's see. Oh yeah, my legs are a little wobbly already. <laughs> I can definitely feel it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another set with this 115 and then I'll take that 25er off and put a 35er on and do with 125 on our last set of this. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. But first, uh, let's be right back. Okay, that's a couple more, few more seconds. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Look at that, I had the, had the water in my hand and never got a sip. Here we go.
All right, start timing again. Ah, oh, those extensions burn. All right, let's try taking this thing off. And trying this the very last set. It is a lot of weight. I actually I can't believe I'm gonna try this. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend anybody to try this as they are starting working out. Honestly, don't even know why I'm doing it. <laughs> Besides trying to see if I can do it or not. I guess we'll find out. We'll find out. Whew. 100, today's day 123. That's 27 days. We are going to be halfway through this journey. And it's not a journey to earning. It's a journey to fitness. Let's see. Oh, well, at least the heart rate went down a little bit. Oh, all right. Time is still ticking. And then after this set, we're gonna go with extensions. After the extensions, we're gonna call it a day, cause that's it. What else, what else can I do besides cap races and they are as boring as boring can be. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll do one set with all this weight, which I have no idea why I'm doing it but I'm doing it, then I'll take it all off and I will load it with two of the 25s, actually, I'm going to load it with, I'll make a total of 75 pounds, so, And now I'm indecisive. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but I guess I'll have time after this set and break. 50, 75. Yeah, I'll start the curls with 75 today. I hope I'm warm up enough to do that. In the meantime, time is up. And here we go. felt every single rep every single one of them good for the quads out on fire right now by the way Woo. all right so since I cannot squeeze my legs on here and my chicken legs might fit there I don't know but I guess we'll find out shortly I don't want to have too many discs hanging in there when I'm doing curls. Not that it matters. But let's do a little test here and see how it goes. I know the 45s are too big for that. For me to do curls with them. Up, the other way. Oh. 
Alright, let's do a little test ride and see if my legs. Ah, oh, surprise! They do! <laughs> oh, okay, that means I can put the second one here. That is 70 pounds right there. Oh, 70 pounds. That is exactly where I left it last time. It was not the same setup, but still 75 pounds. Now the question is, do I want to start with 75? Which I probably should. And then go from there. If I need to add either 10, 20, or 25 pounds, I'll be able to because I still have a whole bunch of sets. Oh man, my legs are burning. <laughs> Woof. Uh, I'm gonna need a, I don't know what to recover, but. A good rest, maybe 48 hours. As I said, I don't think I'm gonna work tonight, third shift. So I'll, I'll sleep in my own bed. Well, I always sleep in my, well, most of the time, sleep in my own bed. Unless I'm at the hotel. But I'll sleep in my own bed tonight at nighttime. Which is always good. Time is up. Here we go again. Legs are a little wobbly. I'm definitely working out my legs. <laughs> All right, here we go. take a break and it looks like oh, I don't need to go that far oh. 70 pounds is where we're gonna leave it now for now oh. I might be able to add just a little more weight not as much as 25 pounds, maybe 10. Uh, the question is now, should I do it or not? That is the question. I don't know where all this strength came from. <laughs> Just the other day I was saying I was feeling weak. <laughs> uh, maybe because I had Chipotle today. I definitely had a good meal. Whew. I actually didn't think I was gonna be able to work as hard as I am working out today uh, because I ate a lot I already ate uh, I will say half of my calories of the day in one meal it's a little more than half uh, yeah Chipotle is not very calorie sensitive place to eat oh it was pretty close to 800 calories in my meal now I am full I'm still I still feel the food being digested in my stomach oh. yeah I didn't think I was gonna be able to perform like this today oh, I thought it was gonna be like yesterday or the day before oh 
Yeah, I'm getting sleepy. But I can't go to bed. Um, have to wait until 10 p.m. tonight, which is the cutoff time for my phone call. So, thereafter we're gonna watch a movie. You know, Netflix and chill. And watch a movie, I don't know what we're gonna eat, but definitely not eating chips. Eating popcorn. Pretty good, healthy or healthier snack, especially for movies. <laughs> that is only if I'm hungry then. <laughs> if I'm not hungry, I'm not eating anything. I doubt I'm always, I'm always hungry. Uh, not always starving, but I can always eat. For some reason, even when I'm not hungry and I start eating, I eat. Sometimes I am starving. Not lately. I've been good at keeping myself uh, satisfied. All right, time is up. Let's go back to it. Here we go. Wobbly legs. Another break. Oh. Legs are wobbly. That exercise oh, definitely works. The hammies. And I'm glad I overcame that hamstring semi injury I had the other day, a couple weeks ago. I'm glad it's not permanent because that would have definitely hinder my progress and my goals. <sighs> All right, so two more sets of this, and then we're gonna call it a day. Yep. All right, hopefully the camera won't shut down on me or stop recording as usual. <sighs> Man, I, I feel like I definitely cheated on my diet, which is not really a diet. But watching my calories, got to figure out how many calories I needed to maintain my muscle mass or my body weight. Figured it out and then kind of laid out a plan to lose fat and gain muscle at the same time which should be i should be able to gain mass i mean gain gain muscle and lose fat at the same time besides that i'm a noob it's not like i'm on a deficit and i'm shredded right now have plenty of body fat on me already anyway all right let's see Oh, yeah, and another thing, talking about fat. Uh, got my Skinful Caliper, which I put it right there. I'm gonna be measuring my body fat soon. <laughs> Woof, I'm excited about that. <laughs> I need to. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's so many ways to do it. Even with a Skinful Caliper, there are different ways to measure your body fat percentage. That's ridiculous, I don't even know where to start with the formula but in the meantime I, I'm going to measure myself today right after today's video I'm 
going to measure myself and see if I can figure it out what, where my body fat percentage is at. And hopefully, well, I still haven't been able to find the place where to put my body fat percentage. With my pictures to send it to the laser analyzer, Coach Greg, even though I'm in his <laughs> uh, email list for the newsletter. I don't know, I'm probably banned or something. Who knows? I still haven't been able to figure it out. All right, time is up. Here we go. That is our last break. Ugh. Wobbly legs. Wobbly legs. <sighs> Woo. So, if any of you know <laughs> how to submit my pictures and my guesstimation before I even do the measurements, which I don't know. By the time you see this video, I probably already took it, took my measurements. Because this video is not coming out tonight. It's coming out tomorrow night. So, I don't know if you are, uh, not that many of you watch my videos anyway at this point. <laughs> but hopefully by the end of the day, I'll be able to, one, figure it out. How to submit, submit my pictures. I will actually take also my pictures today. How to submit my pictures and how to measure my, well, measure myself, measure all the three spots to measure my body fat and see if I was, if I was right with my guests or not. We'll see. Anyway, time still taking. It's our very last break. And um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to because I don't remember. Hopefully, the camera won't shut down on my last set. And if it does, I'm sorry. <laughs> it shouldn't. But we'll see. <laughs> Uh, actually, let me just reset the camera, just in case. Here we go. Here we go. Didn't miss a second. Uh, did I? No, I did not. I'm gonna leave it as it is. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my, my legs could respond for a second there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it like that. <laughs> 70 pounds is the number for the curls. And I'm gonna leave it as it is. And, and I'm twitching now. And then for the extensions, we were 125 total. Uh, the squats, I squatted with 45ers on each side, so that's 90 pounds. Oh yeah. Making some progress. It's good. But what, now what I need to make progress is on other body parts. Like on my chest. Triceps for sure. Uh, triceps I used to be able to grow my, or work out my triceps and being able to feel the results or feel the exercise. Lately I haven't been able to. 
and then continue slowly on the shoulders. I don't know how it's gonna be tomorrow, but we'll find out. Time is up. Here we go. Well, oh, wobbly legs. <laughs> well, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.